Good luck. So yeah, I've been spending some time studying, um, but not as much as I hoped to. All right, so... Um, if I remember right, this is the one circumstance where I can actually push my central file pawn, and it's actually okay. And if they push a second time, this can be countered. Um, and I'm trying to remember all the theory right now. There's not that much of it, but it's important to remember it correctly. Um, so if I bring my rook to the center file, if they push it again, um, hmm, I think it's fine. We're going to learn one way or another if this is okay. Okay. Uh, I mean, what a high-stakes way to learn, right? <laughs> um, but if I don't exchange the bishops, well... I can't put any pieces between my rook and my bishop and expect to survive this. Um, <laughs> I think this is playable. In Shogi, many things are playable, but um, I tend to explore all the really esoteric stuff accidentally because um, I've not put enough time into study. If this diagonal closes, then of course we can raise our bishop, but um, until then, I have to be prepared for lots of tactics. Uh... <laughs> I don't know if he's confused, but I sure am. If he closes the diagonal, then I can lift my bishop and bring my silver up for a normal. Um, am I going to? I don't know, but I could. Um, it's more important that I activate my rook, I think. Although, well, this pawn break is pretty critical. <sighs> I'm just concerned. If I bring my bishop out, they advance the silver... And what am I supposed to do? I don't know. If I push this, there's silver climbs. I, I can't even push again. So I've not completed my castle. I should not think about attacking yet. If they do the side pawn picker, then, um, well, I can just pawn drop on the knight's head and I'm fine. Unless I can't pawn drop. Um...
So this is the position I'm confused about. I'm just going to continue castling and assume I'm okay. Um, I mean, it's awkward, and they do threaten this pawn drop, so I have to defend against that, but... Um, Hmm. All right, his king's in the center. What more can I do here? So my opponent has a pawn in hand, and has, well, they defended heavily against me pushing here. So my best try is to open the long diagonal, which is perilous, but, um, seems to be my path forward. Oh, of course, they deal with me pushing my other pawn, right. I should have seen that. Alright, so that complicates my attack. Um...
I know I'm not supposed to attack from my castle. However, I don't see any other path forward. So he's playing a right-hand king, except normally that would go on 4-9 um, on, uh, instead of I'm willing, or I'm curious if they are willing to push the pawn that's defending their king. Um, I'm probing to see what their intent is here. Um, if they don't push this right now, I can move my knight up and this might become stable, maybe. This isn't really what I want to do. I'm mostly seeing, can I get them to push this so that my bishop can go back and threaten something over there? Yeah, they call my bluff, as they should. Um, they found that I just created a weakness. And they move to exploit it. Um, but also they want to use that file. Yuck. None of my pieces are defending each other. This is terrible. Um, Yeah, I just cut the defense between my rook and my silver. And my opponent exploits it perfectly. Um,
There ain't shit that I can do about this. It's like every time I do some over aggressive attacking idea, I am reminded um just how misguided those ideas are. But also when I just sit around waiting for my opponent to attack, then I'm reminded, hey, I need to attack more aggressively. Um I think it's Shogi's a complex game. Um and I still have a lot to learn. And it drives uh, some people trying to teach me mad when I just find so many terrible ideas. Um, well, no, I think they're more mad when I don't try things. And then when I do try things, they just point out what's incorrect in a gentle but um, helpful way. I just have to not conflate those two things. So if they take this pawn, I have to move my bishop again, then they could maybe take this other pawn, depending where this moves. So this would have to retreat, and then they just move the rook back and advance the pawn on the knight's head. It's like this whole game, I couldn't find any weakness in my opponent's structure. Um... Oh, at least this time I have a pawn in hand. That's kind of useful. Although their gold is set to fight off any pawn drops I could do that might try to threaten their king. Um, and if I sack the silver, almost certainly uh, they're just going to use that to reinforce the king if they need it. So I think they are debating whether to take the pawn, whether to advance one of their other pieces, or whether to pawn drop right here. Um, with the idea of dividing my attention between uh, trying to defend this and trying to defend all my weaknesses I've set out in the center of the board. Oh, hang on. So the reason that I need these generals... Well, yeah, this is kind of tongue-in-cheek. The reason the generals have to defend each other is because of a... to defend against rook attack from the side. Uh, This intending a pawn drop repeating the position... Um, This is a really tame move. This is an extremely tame move. Uh, I expected something far more violent, honestly. Uh, I'm stunned, because I actually have a strong counter to this, I think. No, I have, well, at least one strong counter to it. I wish I could do pawn drop at 2-5, and if knight takes, pin the knight. But they could just defend their knight. Knight takes, pawn takes, and even with a knight in hand, there's nothing forceful 
I can do here. Um, but I still have a strong counter, and that's pawn drop to six, and then just put my rook behind the pawn. And I've completely cut off their access to this file. Yes, my bishop is overloaded. Um, oh, I missed this. Wow, okay. That's frustrating. Okay, so what can I do about such a move? We're going to have some pawn tension here. I get that this is right next to my king. Like, I'm playing with fire, but... Um, a bishop exchange is the only thing I can do to shake this up. My knight's trapped. This is why I should not have moved the knight in the first place. So yeah, I moved both of my knights. Really moving the one defending my king is what's going to doom me. But, um... Yeah. I wonder what other... Uh, ideas I missed this game. All right, we're going to exchange bishops. Again, this was my whole plan, was just to exchange bishops and hope something positive comes from it. Um, so we're playing the hope shogi. But it's better to have some hope than none. So his immediate threat is uh, rook 7, 9, just barreling down at my king. And uh, the only way I can counter that is with this kind of attack. So... I don't know whether to just allow him to continue attacking or if I should sack my silver at this point. Um, yeah, I think the sack is worth it, because otherwise if I retreat, bishop drop 6-6, uh, six, six, and I'm in trouble. 6-4. Um, I can't really... Well, I could block that, and then they do another light drop, and like everything goes to shit. If I just let this waltz in here. So we're going to attempt to complicate things further. Um, so they intend a peace drop right next to my king. Um, I'm not really set to defend against that at all. This is all I can do to defend that square. Uh, 
Yeah. My king's position is riddled with so many holes. Uh, on the bright side, with this pawn in place, my king could dodge either left or right. Um, obviously, left is toward my rook, which leads to tactics where I'm going to lose my rook someday. But um, this still could be better than getting mated in the corner. Because he has more than enough positions to win on an edge file, or more than enough pieces for an edge file attack to be successful. So, um, diving toward the corner could be, uh, terrible. On the other hand, diving toward the center could be very perilous if they get pieces attacking the center square, which I have no way of defending. So, um, really, it's a question of which is going to lose the game faster for me. Actually, they could... If they attempt to surround my bishop, uh, they succeed. <laughs> they could... Yeah, I missed that. That's not good. I mean, my bishop's not the greatest piece ever, but playing without the bishop is not going to be very fun. Actually, no, if they do a silver drop, I have to push the center pawn, then they could pawn drop to, like, silver here, pawn there. My bishop can't move. So if they drop a silver here, I have to threaten the silver right away. And then they could bishop drop to force an exchange anyway. Um... So maybe I should not focus so much on my bishop being alive, but focus on trying to start something on this side of the board. Anything to make this position confusing. Well, they're making a big decision, so it makes sense to go into Bioyomi to think about it. I had moved quickly on my last move because um, my opponent had a large time advantage, and I thought I was lost anyway. But um, I'm forgetting that timers work differently on this site than they do on chess sites. That you get the Bioyomi time every move. You don't have to worry about increment and trying to stay ahead on the clock. You get time to think each turn.
40秒50秒1 Okay, this makes sense.、Uh, do I go left, right, or take? Take looks suicidal.、Um, if I go left, I'm leaving myself open to like silver drop if takes takes.、Um, then they have a knight drop and threatened drop. Just They continue dropping and attacking this focal point here. If I run.、Um, so I either run to the corner or I take the pawn.、Um, running to the corner.、Uh, I'm really pessimistic about. I'd feel safer if I had the pawn in hand. Obviously, like, tactics prevail, but I'm not seeing the game deciding tactic here. I'm gonna play the crazy thing. This begs for attention. Um, now I see that they could silver drop behind my king. <laughs> Well, wish I'd seen that earlier, but still,、um, this might be my best try. If the silver's back here, it can't pursue my king from the front, so, like, here, advancing their silver might be the fast or the best way for them to attack.、Um, but now I have a pawn in hand. 40 And with this pawn, I can repel some attacks. 50秒1 okay. Oy vey. Um. Shogi's complicated. The moves which feel most natural might not be the best. This damn pawn is confining. 50 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34
50秒1 230秒。30秒うん40秒。I forgot that bishop drop rook takes silver takes his check. So I don't have the option to interpolate um, knight takes silver. Of note is that pawn drop mate is illegal. Right. So this sets up a silver to the face checkmate. However, um, my promotion secures that's not me. Oh, interesting. The, he no longer has the knight protecting this pawn or the silver. Um, so I have, my king can capture two pieces here. Amazingly, my king is safer here. Yeah, that was just a colossal misread in time pressure. He read out what he thought was a mate, and I accidentally stopped it. And now we get to play a second game.
30秒。Interesting. Thirty seconds. 40秒 I'm gonna attempt to contain this monster. Thirty-five. 30秒。So if he's lining up to take my knight, then I want this file to be blocked so he doesn't promote, um, or if he does promote, I want his knight so I can just keep dropping more knights trying to find some way toward his king. Thirty seconds. Yeah, I want this knight. Do I want it right now? Probably. Yes. Well, this is scary. This is asking for trouble, in fact. Uh, <laughs> I should have thought this through. Uh,
so this is still problematic. Uh, I did mention trying to contain this monster. This is kind of what I had in mind. In some lines I was considering just, for some variations I had read out, I was considering putting a silver here instead of a pawn. But since so many pieces got exchanged already, it's going to be a pawn. Or rather, since he's got two knights and he's about to get a third knight, um, if I'm not careful. Yeah, we're going to have to block with a pawn and not risk I'm trading video. heavy pieces right now. But also I'm threatening knight takes knight. Also I'm threatening I'm like, some sort of silver drop hitting his bishop. Um, I mentioned that knight takes knight was a threat. Um, he's suggesting that he wants a rook exchange, and I'm not sure if I believe him. Also, I'm not sure if that matters. We're going to activate my rook. We're going to enter the madness. That is, simultaneously conducting an attack while being under a very severe attack. <laughs> um, and this is pretty unconventional, too. But, um, you know, we'll make it work somehow. So if they do this, I think I'm forced to place um, at least a moderate piece, perhaps a heavy piece back here. Well, yeah, it's not so obvious. I think if they do the rook check, I'd do a knight block. Oh, they can't do a pawn drop on its head anyway. It might not matter which I block with in that case. Okay. That's cute. Um, so the only piece they can use to block in the back rank would be a rook. So I could take that. Um, I could do one better, even. So I could separate the king and the rook, and then take the rook.
My horse is still a wonderful defensive piece, so I hesitate to trade it. Sanjugyo Sanjugyo Yonjugyo Kojugyo Ich Ni Sang Si Go Dok Sich Hat Kyu Sorry, I had a brain fart. I thought I was doing horse takes, and then suddenly I noticed that the piece in my hand was the rook. I had been thinking about a number of rook drops here and rook exchanges, and none of them lead anywhere. This is the only move which leads anywhere. Sanjugyo. And this highlights the difference between a horse and a dragon. That the dragon is what's needed to checkmate me. A horse is not going to checkmate me in the middle. Of, or I'm sorry, a rook is not going to checkmate me in the middle of the board. It looks scary. But, um, I really don't see how a rook can checkmate me here. Even if I didn't have my horse defending a number of squares, um, and chess, you just move the knight back, and things would get exciting. But here, um, my king can just run away from their rook, and eventually I can put like one of my generals between the king and the rook. So, if I give check from the side, they can't pawn drop. The only piece that could block is the rook. And knowing that they block with the rook puts me in control of um, a lot of things. Like, then I can silver drop, they take silver drop, the king retreats, another general drop, and then I just take the rook. As long as it's not made on the next move by silver drop, I should be fine. Um...
30秒30秒。I'm trying to read if I have a mate, but、uh, winning the rook should suffice. 40秒。I might have a mate if I gold drop here instead.、Um, or honestly, putting my horse next to my king is probably useful. Or gold next to my king should also suffice. No. If I surround my king, it gets dangerous.、Um. This should suffice. The only threat they have is a silver drop. Right next to my king here, and then I can run away and be safe. Why did I not silver drop and then? Well, I'd need another golden hand to have a two gold made.、Um, yeah, no, that was. An, well. No, I'm sorry, you always said king here.、Uh, it was not a moment of blindness. Oh! Wow. Amazing. That's a sacrifice. Well, he has only one check, and I can run away from it safely. By only one check, I mean I make ignoring or negating this check here, because it doesn't lead anywhere. So he's got this silver drop, and I just take the pawn. Okay, I missed that. Still, I could run away. Thirty s e c o n d All right. Good game. Oh, my goodness, that was crazy. We always have crazy games on this channel.
Um, yeah, so he missed um, that my taking this knight had some pretty profound effect on the position. Um, okay, so we could take a look at what maybe this, maybe I could have taken both silvers. I'm not sure. At this point, he gets both bishops in hand. Um, and my rook is still not very happy. My king is, has mostly escaped and looks like it's escaping. But he's got a rook covering the back rank, so I'm, my king's not going to get very far. Yeah, this... Uh, yeah, that was wild. Uh, yes, yeah, that's for sure. Yeah. But yeah, that one made a pretty big difference. Of course, all the craziest things happen when we get in Bioyomi. So yeah, I was... Oh, I didn't even think about this, but that makes sense too. I was assuming that um, my pawn here on 6-6 six, six was just hanging. Or 6-4, but it's not. Um, he, although he's got two attacking it, I have two defending it. Uh, yeah, this looks painful for me to try to defend. Um, uh, I guess I have to retreat. Okay. This seems to be improving for me somehow. Um, yeah, I don't think this is exactly what he had in mind to show me. Or maybe it is, but he saw something different. But yeah, taking the pawn would be a bit risky, I think. Maybe he was trying to explore this in our post-game analysis. Um, okay. I mean, yes, this is all possible. I don't even blink. Like, yeah, go ahead. Take my bishop. Um... Right, so he's got to put his gold down to defend his king. And he's got a promoted knight, and I've got a rook, knight, and lance. And the rook drop could be pretty interesting, depending where it drops. Yeah, yeah, it's a pretty wild game. So I guess my position had more resources than I thought it did. I always get into these, like, stupid fistfight things. Where um, I lose material and my king is exposed, but I get some crazy counterattack idea. And... Alright, yeah... I agree my opponent stands better here. 
Just because I have the dark pieces does not mean that I'm playing Senta. I'm playing Gota here. It's just my style that makes it look the way it is. Um, yeah, my king advanced quite a bit. Um, right, so this, well, them moving the silver was the moment here. Um, although maybe things led up to this confrontation, but yeah, when they moved that silver, I just took the knight for free. Um, that kind of changed the nature of the game. Yeah, no, you're right. This is how I should respond if you do this bishop drop. Makes sense. It's like just because my king's in the center of the board doesn't mean there's a mate or some win of heavy material. It means like my king is doomed, but um But yeah, the, the way it played out, um, giving up that knight was just fatal. Yeah. Like, I think this position's just winning, because um, my opponent's more or less trapped. Uh, wait, okay, so if they take on 5-6, if I take on 5-6, yeah, that's a thought. Trying to get the bishop out of the corner. Yeah, we got into some chess tactics here. Um, yeah, that makes sense. If I see that pawn move, I probably do have to take here. So I'm hoping at some point we'll go back and look at um, what happens if he just allows me to win a silver for a knight. Um, we'll eventually get there. Oh! oh that is nice. Yeah, that is good. It doesn't save the game, but um, that is a resourceful move. Hmm. In other positions, that sort of thing could save a game. Here, the material disparity in peace activity is just too much, but in other positions, yeah, that could be playable. Hard to suggest a move for Senta here. Um, yeah, I think he put up the best possible resistance, but uh, this 
point. I'm just not... Well, even if... Yeah, no, that's reasonable. Right. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. There's just a ton to read in this. Um, sure. So, I'm wondering, um, when I took the knight, maybe, uh, right, let me see. Uh, well, okay. Yeah, okay. I have other questions too. Um, so yeah. This entire opening had me a bit confused. Um, I didn't quite understand whether she takes bishop was a threat for either player, although normally it loses a tempo. Um, so yeah. Like, obviously he wants to advance the pawn. Um, but I don't really know. Um, how good or bad that ends up being for me. Bishop exchange is a choice. All right, so it's playable for both players then. So Let's see if I step forward a bit. He's got his rook. Oh, okay. He did block the diagonal. Um, um, I'll have to study this opening a bit more. Wasn't sure, uh, um, but I can go beyond this. Um, oh, <laughs> yeah, Central King. Uh, it requires its own field of study. Um, so where was it? I wondered here, maybe you needed to keep the knight, um, so, I'm trying to think what else could be tried here. Um, maybe this, I don't know. wonder if this or some other attacking idea might have worked. Uh, just allowing me to knight takes uh, silver. Oh, okay. Uh. Oh, wow. That is that special. Uh, yeah. Jeez. All right, so. Now, yeah, you're absolutely right. So I'd have to, like, take here. 
And then I'm getting... Oops. Uh, yeah, that's illegal. Thanks to my awesome knight. Um, but yeah. Okay, so this is the threat now. Hmm. Yeah, okay, that makes sense. Um... So, uh, Shogi Harbor does a Sunday morning program for the Western world. Um, thanks for the game. Uh, I mean, she does it uh, Sunday night. You too. Uh, if I can spell. <laughs> yeah, she uh, does this Sunday night for her, Sunday morning for the rest of the world. Um, at Shogi Harbor's channel. Check that out. Um, but yeah, what an adventure. Um, so this is one of two teaching games I have this weekend. The other is with Destiny. I spent some time studying, uh, my previous, uh, lesson from him. Where he, in the post-game analysis, pointed out quite a few ideas. I think this time, though, uh, colors will be reversed. So I should take some time to re-review his previous lesson that I've already re-reviewed a couple times, but in general, like, e Destiny tends to use this silver rook and bishop very effectively, and I need to try to do similar. Um, yeah, this is a really strong attack. How is it that this was so compelling, I wonder? I mean, okay, yes, this indicates, like, I have no idea about timing of anything here. Um, so if I were more keen on the timing, like this is called for. This definitely necessary. This pawn drop uh, is necessary to deal with this threat. Fine. Is it? Uh, yeah, actually it is. Because like if I tried this to deal with the pawn drop threat, uh, there's this promotion. Um, and um, I have no counterattack at this time. I mean, it kind of looks like I have a counterattack, but uh, based on this pawn drop idea, but they can deal with that. Uh, that's at least one way they can deal with it. I'm sure there's other ways they could deal with this too. Um, hmm. Well, I say that, but I don't see what those other ideas are. Yeah, if I could somehow separate the generals and the rook, it would be a lot easier to demonstrate an attack here, but, um, like, the, these two generals right next to each other, with this one being heavily, or being defended by this rook, it's kind of hard to find a way to exploit. Um, I mean, I guess this is an idea, with maybe this to follow, um, even so, this doesn't look too, like, I think the more salient point here is that my pawn drop threat is defeated, so yeah, I needed to pawn drop here to deal with this pawn drop threat. Um, but, yeah, the rest of these moves, I didn't really know what I was aiming for, other than solidifying my castle. I do like attacking when I'm confused, and I didn't do that this game. 
and I'm somewhat proud of that, but also wish I'd seen a lot more. Wish I'd really known where to go to attack here. Um, so yeah, this gold is necessary to deal with their rook. Oh, here's an idea. That's something I'd not considered during the game. So, I can't really hit this knight very effectively. Um, but maybe my bishop could be effective on this other diagonal. It's complicated. Um, might run this through an engine, too, to see what else it suggests. Because, yeah, I was just wandering, and I was concerned about this, and didn't really see anything here, either. Um... I don't think this helps either of us. I mean, this forces me to choose my bishop go back this way or this way. But also, this is quite committal and forces them to defend the point. And that could be hard to defend, and my rook could come over and smash it, maybe. Um, but yeah, this is super strange, because they played a central king against my central foul rook. Um... Yeah, and the instant that my rook went to go try to support this file, they targeted my weak pawn. Well spotted. Um, I was kind of annoyed at this point. Well, that's a mild way to put it. Um, but yeah, I think this, and they just promote. And um, actually, I can deal with that, can't I? All right. And I was concerned, what if this, and thought, well, I could try this. Maybe this works. Maybe I just lucked out extremely, very much, um, that they don't have a decisive move here. Was this what was played, Rick takes 3-4? No, they retreated. Uh, giving them... No, this doesn't give them time for a pawn drop. Yeah, uh, this Rook Retreat, uh, I don't get it. This looked more interesting. Um, maybe I had a counter here, but I just don't see it. Like, yes, this is an idea, but I don't think it counters their idea. Um, I mean, that's one possibility, is to Pawn Drop here, but also they could just... What I'd seen during the game is that I give up pieces if I'm going to do this. Which I can't really do, can I? Um, now, Kektar, I think, after the game had showed me, showed all of us, that, like, there's... Oh, I don't get two moves in a row. That's right. So I'd have to, like, play something like this. And then they can just go back. Yeah, so if I'm trying to make things complicated, this is the way to try. But now my bishop's trapped. Um, my bishop's on pre. That'd be one thing if I had a mate threat, which I don't. So yeah, this is just crushing. Uh, he missed this. So yeah, I tilted, and the point where I tilted, he messed up. This is a very good attacking move by the bishop, now that we've both closed this diagonal, and I have no way to open it. Um, actually, I was concerned about bishop here. It's not possible right now. I hallucinated super hard. Yeah, so something like this, just calm and patient and waiting for... I don't even know what um, might be possible. Um, again, at some point they might choose this to pick, like, where's my bishop going, but their king is located right here, so I don't think they're going to do that. Um, more likely they strike at the head of my knight, which... Uh, I guess my silver kind of protects this, but not really, because their bishop is going to take here. 
yeah, so this is not very great. Um, so this is what happens when I dawdle forever, and my opponent comes up with a plan and I don't. Like, if I'm going to commit a gold here, I need to have a plan elsewhere. Or where is my bishop going? Where is my rook going? Moving my king's knight was not very smart. It's just a waste of time. I mean, ultimately it did make the difference, but it should not have. Um, yeah, I just missed lots of tactical ideas this opening and played super passively. Um, yeah, like, this is clever. Maybe now is the best time for me to try to break here. But they still have this idea. Um, actually, well, I saw this. So this is why I need to raise my silver anyway. And now this is the timing to move my bishop. And they have to play this. Um, and I guess I could play this now. Um, I don't even know if I want to, but it's possible. If I play that, they pawn drop right in front of it. If I take knight takes and I don't have a counter... So yeah, I don't want to push that, but I could push this, and there's no way they're breaking through. Yeah, this is a lot calmer. Um, yeah, so I need to become more familiar with um, how to play these positions. And neat to spot that this bishop move is fine, and not be afraid of um, this. Because there's nothing to fear here, but fear itself. Um, yeah, if they block this, um, I'm not trapping the knight this turn, but I'm going back. And if they don't block like that, if they block like this or something... Um, I don't know. It's awkward. Yeah, maybe this bishop check in this case actually helps them because they can place a gold move that's not normally possible. But the same principle applies. I should just go back and I can corner the knight. Or, I mean, if they go here, same idea. Um, I'm just constantly afraid of my castle, or this isn't even a castle, but my position just falling apart. Um, I need to have some degree of confidence to play this game accurately. Although, again, they have this gold move, so uh, here I'm somewhat right, somewhat correct to be afraid, because I don't trap the rook, or do I? Yeah, I trap the rook. Um, so I win that for a lot of pieces. Oh, and then the rook's exactly the right piece we need. So, okay. So I need to be less afraid of that. Um, alternatively, I need to learn and start playing Yagra, but that's not happening just yet. We'll get there someday. Anyhow, thanks for watching. See you next time.